Hi there, this is Kenneth B and you're watching Blue Collar Guy. So today we're going to be talking about the TOPTES or T-O-P-T-E-S TS-501B sound pressure level meter. And um, <clears throat> this particular device uh, measures the noise level of um, whatever you want to measure, particularly, you know, like uh, some people have been measuring the how noisy the power station fans are. Uh, some people will uh, measure how uh, noisy gas generators are. And the reason why we want to measure noise is because we want to know if it's going to either bother us being too noisy uh, or bother our neighbors or people around us because when it comes to noise, there are certain laws and restrictions in place. So <clears throat> this particular one came with a um, manual and um, I, I got this one because it had a lot of features and it was relatively inexpensive. Now, one thing I'd like to point out is you can get an app for your phone and I've discovered that the apps for your phone are fairly adequate in measuring uh, the sound levels so if you don't want to buy a device like this then you can use an app for your phone if you just want to know uh, for personal reasons how noisy something is so uh, there is no need to actually go out and buy one of these if you don't need to having said that um, there are situations in which you may want to have one of these and I'll get into that as well. So in the book, it tells you the basic instructions on how to use it, but it also has this area here, and I'm just going to see if I can't uh, focus right about here. Oh, no, it's not focusing right there. So in this particular one, it tells you the uh, how many hours and at what uh, level of decibels so eight hours at 85 decibels four hours at 88 decibels and two hours at 91 60 minutes so you, you the louder something is the less time you should expose your ears to it and in some situations then you have to wear hearing protection so you're not going to damage your ears so pay attention to this one here so a lot of people have house parties they play loud music and quite often it will go over this and then the neighbors phone the police and the police will actually measure the sound level um, at your house party before they even talk to you and determine whether or not you're in violation you could get a warning usually people get a warning the first time but sometimes you, you can get a fine, and sometimes that fine can be quite hefty. Now, if you have a, a business where your business is near a residential area, you're going to want one of these for the simple reason is you're going to want to make sure you're not violating any noise bylaws, especially when some of them apply at uh, after 9 o'clock at night, that sort of thing. And it depends on your municipality uh, when it comes to noise bylaws. But um, the, the gist of it is that the reason why you would get one of these is because it is more credible. In other words, if you were to show the results to the police on, a, on an actual device instead of an app on your phone, it would give you more credibility. Plus, it also looks like you're being responsible in that you, are, um, uh, you went to the extra measures to uh, make sure that the noise level is adequate um, for whatever you're doing, be it a, a party. Um, some people uh, use it to measure the noise level of their vehicles because in California, for instance, uh, police are pulling cars over and even though they may be stock, meaning that they were just bought from the dealer, they may be in violation of the noise bylaw. Yeah. There's no law that says you can't purchase something noisy it just says you can't use it so be aware of that <clears throat> so something like this would actually help you 
So it does have an interesting design. This is one of the other reasons why I picked it. So if I pull this apart, the microphone is protected from this case. So it has a built-in protection. It's not just uh, this. And I, and I kind of like that. It was the only one that I seen that had that. Uh, the other thing that I liked was that not only does it have the digital display of the readout, but it also tells you your temperature and your humidity. Now, you ask yourself, well, why would a uh, sound pressure level meter have a temperature and humidity? And it's because the temperature affects the speed of sound. Sound travels at 1140 feet per second at 21 degrees Celsius. So at 24 degrees Celsius, sound will actually travel faster. And if you're a scientist and you're actually doing some research on something, you're going to want to know the temperature and the humidity. And you'd also even want to know uh, your elevation. So because that also regards to at sea level, meaning, you know, uh, you're, you're not below sea level or above it, you're just right at sea level. So when you go up higher than sea level, sound also travels faster. So now this is on A weighting, and I know a lot of people don't know what that is, but it's, as you can see, the numbers are moving around quite, quite quickly. So to, normally you would put it on C weighting. You would just hold down the Celsius and Fahrenheit, and then it would change to C weighting, and then it gives you, C weighting is more of an average. A weighting uh, shows peaks, and you don't need to know peaks, you just need to know the average. And then you can even go fast and slow. This has to do with your readout. And then things look a little more civilized and uh, it's not changing so quickly. Then you have the uh, backlight fit function, which I really like. So if you're measuring in low light conditions, you can turn this on and I'll probably be using this device when testing the noise level of you know power stations and that sort of thing to let you know how uh, noisy they are now if i do this i can actually hold the um, uh, reading so if you wanted to hold a reading you can um, then it goes back if you push it then if i go hit this button in the middle it will tell me the max level was at 68.8 because we're just talking and the minimum level is 56.9. And this is all information that you would, let's say you were having a loud party and you were uh, giving this information to the police that you were, you would check the sound level with something like this once an hour just to make sure that things weren't getting out of control. And you know, this may even be enough information here to satisfy your neighbor so that they wouldn't call the police to say, no, no, I'm within the law, I, uh, we're good. And um, it just gives you a little bit of peace of mind because some, like I said, some of these fines can be quite hefty. And it doesn't just apply to like a house party. You could be running, you know, gardening equipment, tractors, things like that on your property. Your neighbor may be complaining about the noise of that machinery. You know, some people that live on, um, not in the country, but on the edge, may um, want to, you know, split logs with a log splitter, that sort of thing. You combine enough motors together and things can get quite noisy. So it, it just makes you aware of what you're doing. Also, if you have your own family walking around, things like that, you may say, well, geez, you know, they might need some hearing protection. So this particular device, you can find it on Amazon. It's about $40, so it's not all that expensive. You know, when these things first came out, they were sold in Radio Shack, and they went up to $80 to $100. Um, and for what this one does, which is a lot more than those, I think it's a pretty good value. But, you know, uh, one of the things, like I said, I really like is this protective cover that goes over the top. So you don't have to worry about it. It's very sturdy. You don't have to worry about the microphone hitting anything damaging it and affecting the results and then it also comes with this little soft carrying case you can slide it in there and that'll keep the screen from getting dirty and the buttons from getting all gummed up and i don't know if there's room for the um, 
Oh, I don't know if they designed it so that there's room for the manual too. No, nope. that is one thing that they didn't do. They, they could have made it a little bit bigger so that you could have fit that in there too because you don't use something like this very often. You're going to want to uh, maybe keep the manual just so you're familiar with it. But yes, it's a, it's a very interesting little thing. I liked it um, because I'm doing testing when it comes to things that are noisy. I wanted to get it for that reason, and I just wanted to share that with my audience. So, anyways, this is uh, not a very long video, it doesn't need to be, and uh, as you can see, it works just fine. Um, I do know that other people have tested this against other sound measures, and it is fairly accurate, so there's nothing wrong with the accuracy. It may be off by one uh, dB SPL, which means decibel sound pressure level you've also got decibels in voltage which is measured in dvms so i'm not going to get into the, the you know the terminology on that but db spl is the term that you want to look at whenever you're looking at sound pressure level so so sound pressure level is spl okay so anyways um this is not a sponsored video uh, I bought this unit myself with my own money. It was not sent to me. Um, and uh, everything that I usually do right now is all purchased by me. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And I will see you at the next video. Thank you.